This is why humanity is afraid of this creature. Animals are among the most powerful triggers of human fear. It is what makes them such great antagonists in the cinematic universe. Think Bruce and Jaws, the Graboid and Tremors, and of course Aragog from the Harry Potter films. This is not that shocking. Throughout our history, animals of all shapes and sizes have posed some kind of evolutionary threat, whether that be as vectors of disease or as vicious predators. It makes sense from a survivalist point of view. After all, that instinctive fear kick could be the difference between life and death. Naturally, as we transition from hunter-gatherers to office drones, those fear instincts have become less crucial to our survival. And yet this virtue of the past persists, causing some of us to jump in fear when we see a spider running across our keyboard. Now, in a study published in the British Journal of Psychology, researchers have identified which animals provoke the strongest reactions of fear and disgust and which are the most common source of animal phobias. To do so, the team recruited close to 2,000 online participants via Facebook group for Czech and Slovakian volunteers, who were then asked to rate both how frightening and how disgusting they found 24 animals that commonly evoke a fear response, plus one control animal, a red panda. Just 10 of those animals received a score of more than 3, signifying low to moderate fear and disgust levels. Spiders were the clear winner, earning a total of 4.39 points out of 5 for fear and 4.47 points for disgust. Indeed, close to 19% of the volunteers expressed an extreme fear when exposed to the photo of the spider, though this may be unsurprising given the frequency of arachnophobia and spiders' ubiquity in horror and Halloween imagery. The researchers pin their unique fear-inducing quality on various factors, including their quirky too-many-legs body plan, their omnipresence in our homes, their capacity for fast, unpredictable movement, and their penchant for dark hiding spots. The runner-up was the image of a venomous viper, which inflicted the greatest fear response in almost 10% of volunteers. This appears to confirm the generally held consensus that snakes and spiders are the most feared animals, at least as far as people are concerned. In the end, the researchers were able to categorize the animals into five groups based on the amount of fear and disgust they provoked, as well as dry, non-slimy invertebrates, which included spiders, wasps, and roaches, and snakes and lizards. The team identified mouse-like animals, mouse, rat, and bat, and farm-slash-pet-like animals, horse, bull, dog, and cat, etc., both of which induced low fear and disgust levels. The final category included human endo and exoparasites, i.e. parasites which included intestinal helminths and louse. These creatures may be vectors of potentially deadly diseases and therefore perhaps unsurprisingly triggered the highest levels of disgust. Interestingly, people with a history of animal injury, such as dog bites, reported lower feelings of disgust and fear, though as Christian Jarrett in the British Psychological Society Research Digest points out, innate lower levels of fear and disgust may have made them more likely to approach the animal that then gave them the injury in the first place. The biggest factor for self-reported fear and disgust appeared to be gender, with women more likely than men to express both, a common pattern in all anxiety-related studies, the researchers point out. Sea lampreys live off of the blood and body fluids of adult fish, including lake trout and whitefish. During its life, each sea lamprey can kill 40 or more pounds of fish. Sea lampreys are one of the most costly and destructive Great Lakes invaders, said Wagner, whose results were published in the July issue of the Canadian Journal of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences. The effectiveness of the odor combined with the ease with which it's obtained suggests that it will prove quite useful in controlling sea lampreys in the Great Lakes. Currently, pheromones, the same chemicals the lampreys rely on to attract mates and find spawning grounds, are used to lure the creatures into large cages where they can be destroyed or sterilized and released back into the wild. Wagner believes that repellents could be a better alternative since even small quantities can elicit a response. The smell of death could be used to steer lampreys away from waterways or corral them into groups, making them easier to eliminate. By blocking certain streams with these chemical dams, sea lampreys can be steered away from environmentally sensitive areas and into waterways where pesticides could be used more effectively to eliminate a larger, more concentrated population of sea lampreys. Now we're getting through to more people. We have an exhibit at the Oregon Zoo. The general person comes up and says, oh, are you trying to get rid of them? Are they going to attach to our legs? But then we tell them the facts and they change their minds. In the river, Pacific lampreys face swarms of non-native predators like smallmouth bass, striped bass, and walleyes, as well as an unnatural superabundance of native predators created by the impoundments and by the lampreys and other sea-run fish being massed against the dams. These predators include sturgeon, sea lions, seals, gulls, terns, cormorants, and northern pike minnows. The Pacific State's Marine Fisheries Commission even pays a bounty on pike minnows. Predators, habitat destruction, global warming, and past persecution of lampreys, including by managers using the fish poison rotenone, 
have reduced Pacific lampreys to the point that the only place the tribes can now legally catch them is Willamette Falls on the Willamette River. It is important to add that self-reporting and the stillness of the photographs, movement in video and real life have been proven to provoke greater fear if not discussed, may have influenced the results. Still, if you're looking to give someone a cheap scare, we would suggest you go out and buy a rubber spider.